Welcome back to my channel guys. Today's video, as you know, is going to be a little reveal of my exam results. Well, I mean, I already know what I got, but I just want to share my results with you guys. But I also just wanted to say a few things about how to cope and how to deal with it if you didn't quite get what you wanted to get. Because I know that happens and I was sort of preparing myself for that to happen. So here's the results envelope. Here are my results. So I did nine GCSE subjects. Most people do eight but I took an extra subject so I've got nine here. Here are my overall grades. So for ICT I got a C. English language I got a level eight which is an A star. English literature I got a level eight also. Maths a level seven which is an A. Art and design an A. Dance a B. Drama a B. Additional science an A. German an A star. So those are all my subjects and I'm really, really happy about that. I worked so hard. I threw myself into my GCSEs head first. I was dedicated and I made some sacrifices, which most people do. Generally, I just worked hard and I was passionate. And even, even when I wasn't feeling so passionate, I just thought I'm doing this for the greater good, for a bigger picture. I'm doing this to help me in the future. So whatever it took, I was happy to do it. I was happy to get the help. I was happy to push myself. And I feel like I got the results that I deserve, so yeah, I'm quite happy about that. I also got a distinction for my English language oral examination, for which we had to do a speech. I did higher tier for all of my subjects, and for biology I got an A, chemistry I got an A star, and physics I got an A. I was really surprised about maths actually, maths and English. Even though I really enjoyed English, I didn't expect to get an A star, just because I found it really difficult. Um, in terms of maths, honestly, I didn't mind maths too much but there were points where I hated it just because I feel like I'm one of those people whose brain isn't quite mathematically wired so to get a level 7 which is an A in maths I was pretty I mean you know happy is an understatement I did end up getting a lot of help with maths I did hours and hours a week of maths revision going to after school classes during break time during lunch time I, I did two hour revision classes every weekend on the Saturday so yeah, I just, I literally threw myself into maths because I know that I'm not naturally good with maths. So yeah, I just got all the help I needed. And honestly, if any of you watching have exams coming up or you're, you're in the midst of studies, like you're not maybe pushing yourself as hard as you can, just go for it. Just dive head first and hit the ground running, get your head in your books and do what you have to do to get where you want to be. Because if you work hard, if you work the hardest you could possibly work, if you put in your best, you will get out your best. It just, I don't see how it can work any other way. You'll overcome the obstacles because you have the drive, you have the determination, you have the passion, you have the will to do well. I personally believe that's all you need. Don't hold yourself back, don't sell yourself short. You can't do better than your best, so give it all that you've got and don't worry about what other people are saying, what other people are doing, what other people are aiming for. You can't sit here and compare yourself to the next person. If you did really well, then congratulations, honestly. And if you didn't do as well as you like, still congratulations, because what we just went through, those two years of your life that you spent trying to get what you got, that was a grueling two years. It wasn't easy. GCSEs, exams, studies, they aren't easy things, so they shouldn't be underestimated. So don't underestimate yourself. Be proud of what you got. Be proud of what you achieved. And if you didn't do as well as you'd like, you'd like to have done, take a step back, assess the situation and have a look at what you could do to improve and have a look at what the next step will be. What you get now isn't the be all and end all. I really like the John Lennon quote that says, if um, everything will be right in the end and if it's not all right, it's not the end. That is very true. It's very true. So if you're ecstatic today, I'm ecstatic with you. If you aren't too happy today, I'm, I'm there with you too. Just keep on tracking. Seriously, it's not this is just a start. This is just a start of something amazing. And I'm hoping, you know, you get to dictate your future. You get to decide what you do with your life, where you want to go and how you're going to get there. At the end of the day, I, I personally believe that you're ultimately in control. No one should force you to pursue anything you don't want to. No one should put you down. And if there are people in the back going like this, ignore them. Ignore them. Block them out and pay attention to where you are in the moment and have a look at where you want to be. Congratulations to you GCSE students, A-level students, um, students of anything. You are amazing. You do great jobs. We do great jobs. Just enjoy the rest of your summer holiday. If you're going back to school next week, good luck, be prepared, be ready to hit the books, put your head down. Um, if you're going back to school in two weeks, enjoy the rest of your summer. Again, be ready for back to school. Well done again, guys. And... I'm gonna go celebrate, go celebrate your achievements.
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.